Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy new release day. We've got another one coming at you. 2019 Bowman Baseball. 12 box. Pick your team. Number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is hobby edition once again. 12 box hobby. One auto per box. 12 autos total. Big thanks to all of these people for getting into it. Appreciate it. Tyler with that last spot mojo. Seattle Mariners. Mariners? Mariners. Or Mariners. All right. Oh, these are heavy. All right. Whoa, Rick Bark, we are all inclusive. Oh, oh, the White Sox. Um, White Sox, no, we have not pulled any Eloy yet. Uh, well, no autographs anyway. All right. Here we go. We've got six on the left side, six on the right side. We're doing all sides. Good luck, everybody. Settle in. It's going to take a while. Grease through these as quickly as possible, just because in the interest of time. And oh, we're gonna do, we'll do a uh, in a separate video. We'll have a autograph and serial number card recap video at the uh, in a separate video. So if you are watching the replay and you're like, I don't want to watch, I don't want to do this for, I don't want to watch this for an hour. You don't have to. You just go to the recap video. For those of you watching live, you're stuck with me here. <laughs> You're stuck. I guess you could just leave for an hour and do do stuff, run some errands late at night, run some late night errands, and then you can come back and watch the recap video. So, yeah, you can do that too, Ryan. We got that. That's right, Atomic Card Guy. So thanks to everybody for getting with us today. It's gonna be a busy week, folks. We got Bowman baseball today. We're gonna be doing all. Bowman, we did Bowman baseball all day today. You know, we're gonna do some more tomorrow. The more on Friday. Flawless also comes out on Friday. So, so Big Boys L O Seven. Joe, I would love a trout autograph. All right. Thanks in advance. Sure. Sure, you get a trout. You get a trout. All right. Here we go, folks. Once again, um, one autograph per box. So let's breeze through these guys. There's, oh, sorry. Brady Singer to 125. There's Jonathan India to 499 paper. Will Smith should be ready for the show in a couple of years. Maybe a little bit next year. There's Mitch Keller to 75 for the Buckos. Uh-oh. Uh, Brian, oh, are you are you in the sales world as well? What do you if you don't mind me asking? He's saying he's currently baking, look at you. He's currently baking a snicker dessert for a customer tomorrow. So he's not going anywhere. He's, he's watching the oven. He's gonna be hanging out with us. Oh, yeah, let, help me pass the uh, pass the time for you, or let me pass the time for you. So you better get the sale. <laughs> he's saying. All 
I want to go trout fish. Let's go trout fishing, Dave. Outside sales rep for Direct Drive Logistics. What what is uh, what is Direct Drive? Oh, and there's our autograph. It's an angel, Big Boys 007. There you go, David Harrell with the Angels. 29 out of 50. Number 34 on the Bowman Top 100, Griffin Canning. Griffin Canning autograph. There you go. Nice, our first autograph of the break. 11 more to go, folks. Oh, I see, you're t selling transportation for a few years now, and you sold beer for Miller for 13 years before that. Nice, good. Well, sales guys can make can make good case breakers, Brian O. Maybe we should uh maybe we should uh we should poach you, send you to California. There's Eniel de los Santos to 250, purple paper. There's a Victor Victor Mesa. His brother, Victor Mesa, also in the Marlins organization, which makes it kind of confusing. Oh, and you, you cold call too? Man. That is strong. I, I don't know. Cold calling is rough. You have uh, trucks and also broker freight all across North America. Um, are you guys worried about automated trucks? Or are you going to be selling automated, like self-driving trucks? I have a friend. She is in the uh, entertainment industry. And she, she essentially organizes and handles like renting out trucks for major... Uh, Concerts like Taylor Swift and stuff like that, big names, U2. And so they say every year it's getting harder and harder as the old old road dogs, the old truckers start to retire. You know, not a lot of not a lot of uh, kids are going up into their into their seats because you know everyone's worried about self driving trucks, and so. Kids don't necessarily see a, or people who are interested in it are necessarily aren't necessarily seeing a career there, you know. Yeah, I still need truckers for the next ten years, I'm assuming, but fifteen years, twenty years, you know, the automated stuff happening here, it's a concern. But people in that industry are already kind of feeling it. Yeah, his name is Victor Victor, and his brother is Victor Mesa Jr. Victor Victor is the uh, the bigger name. Victor Mesa Jr. is like the the not not as highly touted of a prospect. Still like a top thirty organizational prospect, but not as high as Victor Victor. It's a little confusing. But. I had a one of my buddies in his in his fantasy league. He was saying, and they and they uh, they only, they do NL only in their fantasy league, and they were talking about how uh, you can draft uh, prospects too, All right? So you can have like a they have a, like a lot of minor league slots or something like that. And he was saying that that someone uh, that someone in their in their group was like, "Yep, I want uh, Mesa Junior." You know, and he got the wrong Mesa because yeah, he, he he had had Mesa Junior. Instead of Victor Victor Mesa Jr. 
They, they suck him with Mesa Jr. Uh, there you, oh, so prices have skyrocketed. The amount of trucks compared to the amount of truck loads is dwindling, too. Right. There you go. Yeah, Dave, you and EA are on the same page. Could have a brother, brother Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Check the vector, Victor. We got clearance, Clarence. All right, so Brian O. So, yeah, with the competition, that's why, that's why he's baking for his clients. There's Peter Lambert to 250. Purple paper. Should we should we should we should we make uh should we make hitless cookies? Send out hitless cookies. Someone's gonna have an allergy. We're gonna kill one of our clients, and then we'll be like, "Yep, that's the end of that. No more hitless cookies." There's Peter Lambert to 299. Airplane is a great movie. Excuse me, does anyone speak Jive? Excuse me, miss, I speak Jive. <laughs> you're Kareem Abdul. -J you're Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You're a basketball player. No, I'm not. I'm Roger. I'm an airline pilot. I think you're great, but my dad says you don't hustle. <laughs> and there's um, Erasnel. That's how you say that. Erasnel. Isranel. There's an S right there. Israel Wilson. That autograph going to Parker Wilson and the Braves. This year, this could be Parker's brother, perhaps. A relation. Fa family relation. There you go, Parker. All right. That was our autograph from the box. Now let's look for parallels and then we'll move on to the next box. When you get to say to a hospital, what is it? It's a big building with doctors and patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> it's coming right at us. There's Nico Horner, the one per box uh, atomic. Wait, was that Leave It to Beaver's mom in Airplane? <laughs> Jim never has a second cup of coffee at home. Another cup of coffee? I will, but he won't. No, I think I will. Jim never has a second cup of coffee at home. What do you make of this? I, I can make a hat, I can make an air bird. All right. Next box coming up. Cruising. Cruising, folks. Got one more after this. Brian O, just make a bunch of money, retire, and then you can just do case breaking on the side here in Redondo Beach. 
if you have a sales background, you know, you could definitely you definitely get into get into this. You like sports. You don't mind being on camera. You're patient with people. You're great. Strong hands. You know, maybe a little, maybe a little flair, little Ric Flair. Woo! Rolex wearing, kiss stealing, Learjet flying. <laughs> it looks like I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue. The white zone is for loading and unloading of passengers only. There is no parking in the red zone. You know what was bad though um, is uh, is uh, what you call it? Airplane two was kind of terrible. I thought they never should have done an airplane two. You know, we looked into people doing it out, doing breaking out of state, and we realized there's there's a lot there's a lot of like wacky tax issues that are that are a hassle. All right, next box. Here we go, Justice Sheffield leading us off. Oh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. just hit a 441 foot home run. Wow. He has nothing to prove in AAA. That was a bomb. There's Adonis Medina for the Phillies. Blue shimmer to 150. Um, well, you missed one trivia round, Jeremy, in a couple breaks ago, or last break. I don't know if Brian has anything for us for this break. I'm watching uh, FS1 MLB Whip Around. And we got nice Brock Burke for the Tampa Bay Rays. William Frazier with that one. Nice. Oh yeah, Brian Brian might have another bit of trivia for us later. What are we watching now? TMZ Sports? Interesting. There's Brent Honeywell, another another big prospect coming up the ranks. Rays are gonna have a really good a really good team. DJ Stewart is twenty-five, orange paper. 
That AL uh, that AL uh, East is going to be really tough. Our first our first autograph was Griffin Canning. Then we had um, Israel Wilson, and then we had Brock Burke. Now we're in box uh, four. That's the one per box atomic. Gavin Lux, who's been hitting pretty well in the minors for my Dodgers. There's Logan Allen to 125. No worries, Eric. Oh, you're watching 30 for 30 uh, Say Houses, Jeremy. It's a, is that the, that the one they released a while ago, right? That's a sad one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, so that was that. Yeah, that was the autograph out of box three. Now we're going to box four. All right, next box. There are the boxes remaining right there. Got here. Let's go through the scoreboard here. MLB scoreboard. We've got A's leading the Astros two to one, narrow lead in the bottom of the seventh. I think everything else is a final. Phillies beat the Mets three to two. Conforto with a home run. We got the Cardinals. That was an early game. Cardinals beat the Brewers six to three. Royals beat the White Sox 4 to 3 in extras. My Dodgers hang hung on to uh, sweep the Reds 3 to 2. The Yankees scored 4 in the bottom of the 7th. They took a lead that they would not relinquish 5 to 3 is the final there. That was a grand slam. Looks like Brett Gardner hit a grand slam in the 7th. Nice. Red Sox still struggling mightily. Uh, Indians beat the Mariners one to nothing. Carlos Carrasco with twelve strikeouts. Pirates beat the Tigers three to two in extras. Nationals beat the Giants nine to six. They they put five in the bottom of the seventh. Nationals apparently hit four home runs in the 9-6 win. Cubs shot out the Marlins 6 to nothing. Rays beat the O's 8-1. The Diamondbacks beat the Braves in extra innings 3-2. Twins 4-1 over the Blue Jays. And the Angels beat the... No, Rangers beat the Angels 5-4. D. Porter's asking, here's a question for Joe in the chat. It's been, a, it's been thrown around a good bit. Which 80s movie do you like better, Ferris Bueller or Breakfast Club? Um, I have to admit something. I've only seen Breakfast Club like once or twice in my life. I've seen Ferris Bueller many times. So I don't have a – I'm kind of biased, I guess. I like Ferris Bueller's Day off a lot. But I don't know. For those of you who watch that, watch both movies kind of equally, as, as much as the other. What would you guys say? All right. Here's the next box.
EA says, Ferris. There's Reggie Lawson. For Darren, it's a coin flip. There's Andrew uh, Neisner, 25. <laughs> yeah, Joey, have you ever uh, been in a Turkish prison? Never seen a grown man naked. There's only one river. There's an orange talent pipeline. That's pretty cool. 4 out of 25, Luis Escobar, Cabrian Hayes, and Mitch Keller. Mitch Keller still on that team? I thought he, I thought he went in that... I thought he went to the Marlins in that... Uh, or the Rays in that Archer deal. What's up, Bill Mosher? What's been the biggest hit in uh, Bowman so far? Well, I don't know. In the entire world, I have no idea. But for us, we pulled a nice Wander Franco autograph in the previous case. We've been pulling some solid stuff here, too, overall. But I think that might be the biggest one. And there's Gabriel Cancel. 184 out of 299. Nice. I, I haven't watched Airplane in a little bit. I might have to watch it too. And Major League. And other baseball movies too. All right. Next box. Joey, you ever been in a Turkish prison? Yeah, tell that to George Zip. <laughs> it's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's an entirely different kind of flying.
think I've ever seen that one, Darren. I've been told I need to. Planes, trains, and automobiles, I think, something like that. I did have not seen moving violations. I have seen Major League, though. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. Gracias. Cards are a little too slick this year. All right. There's Ryan Helsley, Atomic, for the Cardinals. Ethan Hankins, refractor to four Sorry, the focus isn't. <laughs> Surely you must be joking. Thanks, Ryan. There's Will Smith out of two ninety nine. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Do you know if you uh, listen to the, remember the TV show Fresh Prince of Bel Air with Will Smith, not the Dodgers catching prospect, but the actor? Uh, there's a, I didn't realize this until much later in life. There's AJ Puck to 150. There's an entirely, there's like a second verse to that song. The intro song to the, to the, theme song for the show there's a whole other that's all the second verse I didn't realize that I was like who remembers this part All right, there's Nate Lowe, 235 out of 499. So a couple nice Rays autographs for William Frazier. Now we just need to find Wander Franco. Be an excellent break for the Rays. All right, next bit here. All right, and the next box. After this box, we'll be halfway through the break. We only have six more boxes left. Getting there. Right, good luck, boys and girls.
Where we are in the where are we in the standings? I think it's we got a what? Got what? Almost 20 games of base, 15, 20 games of uh, baseball in the books. The Tampa Bay Rays are 14 and four. Can you believe that? They're seven and two at home, seven and two away. So that's pretty amazing. They are five and a half games ahead of the Yankees, seven and a half games ahead of the Orioles and the Blue Jays. And though and the bird, those two bird teams are ahead of the Red Sox, who are eight and a half back. That's crazy. Yeah, we gotta we gotta, we gotta hook that trout. And yeah, Rays are playing some great baseball. I wonder how they'll do with uh, with Blake Snell fracturing his toe. You guys hear about that? Fracturing his toe. I think he was climbing out of the shower and he was moving some like decorative piece of of stone and 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 metal out of the way, and like a piece tipped over, fell off, and hit his toe. Broken. Time for this. Ain't no one got time for that. Yeah, Austin Meadows had just one player of the week, and apparently he uh, he is legit for the Rays. Joey Bart broke his hand yesterday. Come on, that's not good for the hobby, Joey. Yeah, the Orioles doing great. Austin Meadows has been strong. Has been pretty strong. Hey, Scott, what transportation company does who work for? Scott might be lagging behind a little bit, it's possible. Out of four ninety nine, Furious Nova. Oh, I think, uh, oh, you were talking about Brian O. Uh, Direct Drive, I think, was the company name, Scott. Yeah, and the Rays have the lowest payroll in Major League Baseball, $60 million. That's crazy. Yeah, Austin Meadows was part of that, uh, was part of that Chris Archer deal that sent Chris Archer to the Pirates. And then sent Austin Meadows and I think Mitch Keller to the Rays. There's Corey Ray. He's with the Brewers. It's a one per box atomic for Brian O. There's Casey Mize, big pitching prospect for Tigers. There's Chris Archer right there. Although I don't think Austin Meadows was doing very well with the uh, with the Pirates when he was traded. Uh, Bowman's looking pretty good. There's Christian Pash for the Braves to twenty five orange chrome. We didn't ha hit any. Any big name uh, color autos, but we did hit a Bowman Sterling auto of Wander Franco. That's for Parker Wilson and the Braves. Christian Pash is another big name of that organization. Yeah, well, yeah, their payroll may not, may not be cheap after after those guys go through some years of arbitration, but 
I don't know, maybe by then, Rays could have a new stadium? They might have a new television deal? Some The people that have popped into our room that are from the Tampa Bay area have said that that stadium is kind of in a weird part of town. Like, it's kind of far away from everything and hard to get to, as opposed to where the Lightning play and the Buccaneers play. You know, people say that those stadiums are easier easier to get to. There's Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns for Brian O and the Brew Crew. Yeah, we need we need like a super fractor. Maybe a red auto would be cool too. John, did you see the uh, did you see the 30th anniversary Nick Madrigal that we pulled? It wasn't the super fractor, but we pulled one of those. I think it would, yeah. I think that Bowman Sterling edition probably would. It was in a hobby break. There's Christian Pash again to 150. Yeah, I wonder how this. Uh, I wonder how this stuff does. Uh, I wonder how this stuff does grade. I'm sure it grades all right. All right, folks, we are officially halfway through the break. Halftime. Six boxes to go. Brian O saying, a lot of talk about Corey Ray in the preseason up in the Wisconsin area. Yeah, Brewers have a good young farm system too. All right, good luck, everybody. Next box, we're marching along. Coming up after this will be, I guess, me taking a, uh, a five or ten minute break, and then we'll launch into Bowman Jumbo, and that'll be that'll be it for our night. I want to, you know what? I don't actually think about that, but I, I guess that's true. Sometimes Eric Bailey saying 15 is the over under on how many times my fingers will end up on eBay over the next few days. People taking screenshots and posting like they're, uh, he says going with the over. I would not recommend that. Make sure you get them in hand before you start doing that. But um, what trips me out sometimes is when I'm like looking up the price of a card or something like that, just for whatever. And I see my, uh, I see my redemption, or I see my handwriting on redemptions that are being sold. And it's like, hey, that's my, oh, right, I pulled that. Sometimes that throws me. It's like, why is my hand, that looks like my handwriting. Uh, no breaks as big boys 007 and Rex. Break just became 20 minutes. John, John says, if I open slowly enough, you'll get paid on Friday. You'll be able to get in on these breaks. Um, you know, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure we'll have cases available by Friday. I don't know if your teams will still be there, but I think we'll have some cases still, still available by Friday. I don't think you'll miss out. Although Friday is going to be interesting. It'll be a battle between Bowman baseball fans and flawless football fans. Oh, 
All right. Next box. Good luck. And we've got uh, Telmito Augustine. 151 out of 250 for the Nationals. Jack with the Nats. Right, yeah, and, and NT basketball at the end of the month. It's going to be a the Bowman, flawless NT basketball, unless they push it, but it's going to be. It'll be pretty. Is definitive is not next week, is it? I think that got pushed. I don't know. I don't know if people's wallets could handle that, Eric Bailey. Yeah, definitely an expensive month. You should you should see our bill for all these cases. Um. There's Taylor Trammell to 150. No, I just looked it up. It's a uh, Topps Definitive Baseball is May 29th. Not sure if we'll be getting getting that, John Tamlinson. If Flawless has an error card, is that false advertising? No, because that, they're not advertising anything. If they advertise, that's just the brand name. No one looks at a Dodge Stratus and say, that's not a cloud. That's false advertising. Now, if, if they actually advertised that Flawless was Flawless and there was an error card, that would be false advertising. With Joey Wendell for the Rays to 150, blue paper. There's Nolan Gorman, it's a big name for the Cardinals Atomic. John really likes those 30th anniversary cards. I uh, I sense uh, I get the feeling that you might want to build a set of those, John. Oh, can't slide the cards today. But they must use it. Must use a different coating this year. Feels different. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. to 125. He's been playing pretty well. And defensively playing well, too. I think that's another big big issue or a big key for him because, you know, he, he's going to slump at some point in the season. You know, but his defense will definitely keep him, keep him on that, on a regular... Uh, Getting regular starts, that is. Mackenzie Gore. Yeah, he's got to be rookie of the year, right? Fernandez Tease Jr. And if they if they call up Vlad Guerrero Jr. I mean, he's got to be right up there, too, for the AL Rookie of the Year. All right, next box. Christine Lee, he has her own show?
All right. Next box. I think for April, new release wise, I think that's pretty much it. Bowman Baseball. Flawless this Friday in a couple days, which you can pre order now at jazbeescasecrates.com. Um, yeah, and then NT, unless it, I don't think they're going to push it, NT at the end of the month. So as far as I know, NT is ready to go. Side right here. Yeah, if <laughs> maps for eight hundred bucks, I mean, yeah, I'll bet we'll be spot randomizing the uh, the maps. I'm sure. I mean, it doesn't stop after that. I mean, then it's like, then May is also busy. We'll have. I think tier one, Spectra Basketball, tier one, Trinity Baseball, Prism Baseball, Legacy Football, and Definitive Baseball at the end of May. <laughs> should, we just, should we just post the spot random now, Eric Bailey? Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Spectra Basketball about a week or so after NT. Just, they might push that Spectra back. It's kind of close to that NT, but who knows? I mean, it's such a completely different product from NT. That close release date might be okay. All right, here we go. Next box. There you go. Yeah, so you can collect all of these, John, all these 30th anniversary cards. They do look pretty sharp. Yeah, that sounds like good. That you, Eric Bailey, you got it. You want to run things around here? Forty-seven out of fifty, gold shimmer. Jonathan Hernandez for the Rangers. Some nice color there for uh, for Chen with that one. Gia Chen. I mean, most likely it'll be like a thirty spot. <laughs> Spot random. I don't think it'll be. You think it'll be over a grand? I have no idea. I don't. I don't do any of the pricing, so I have, I have no idea. And is that another auto? It is. We had this one. This is from this box, and we've got Suli Matthias for the Royals. That's going to go to Thomas Bove. Rick says, I'm going to have nightmares of Bowman? No, dreams. Dreams. Pleasant dreams of Bowman. Love this stuff. Maybe maybe year one. Maybe the first year I started doing this, I was like, oh my God, this is just way too much. But as the years have gone on, I am, I'm now, now a 
Bowman baseball vet. Yeah, I mean, if there's a third autograph, this might be a this might be a jumbo pack inside a uh, a hobby box. Yeah, all the paper bases is my retirement fund. Sell them for like a a penny a pop. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Atomic. Joe Adel, 250. We should do a what for my retirement? A, a, a Patreon? I'm not sure what that is, John Samuelson. A Patron shot? Is that, were you saying Patron? Were you saying Patronus? Expecto Patronum? Four boxes to go. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Rex is saying, did, did you see the guy on Twitter that won a case of 2019 Ginter just for retweeting? Retweeting what? No, I, I don't know what a, what, a, what a Patreon is. That sounds like a French car. A French rally car, a Peugeot. That's a Peugeot, not a Patreon. I know what those things are, but a Patreon, I don't know. Sounds like maybe an element, maybe in the high 60s. Sounds like one of those. Oh, I'm not going to remember after this break, John Sands. You, you, you have to, you have to give me the, the, the scoop on what that is. It's a way to fund people who, who create digital content. Oh, isn't that the one that, uh, that that one kid? Joseph Gordon-Levitt, isn't that his company that does that? That was the contest just to retweet the tweet about the food. Like who, like Tops did this? Oh, what? Oh, were, the, were those wood cards only in rip cards? I would like to see those wood cards, like, not in a rip card. Dude, EA, we have trouble getting first off the line. I don't think we got any for NT. But it's like, it's like near impossible. It's like, it's like buying, like, concert tickets, you know what I mean? It's like, for like a really popular show, like, 
It's just like if you get lucky enough to be the, at the, there at the right time and blah, blah, blah. All right. But hey, Eric, you're welcome to come by <laughs> and use our, use our uh, Wi-Fi for first off the line. Orange paper, Franklin Perez for the Tigers. So Tops ran this promo. All you have to do is retweet and get a case of Ginter. Huh. It's Corbin Burns, paper to four ninety nine. <laughs> we use the AOL dial dial up CDs. We use the th we use the three by five, three and a half inch floppy disks for that. There's Ryan Carl Weathers Atomic for the Padres. So Patreon is a, a relationship between you and engaged fan. Oh, I see, engaged fans, the ones that. Chose to go to deeper levels. Huh. So is it like a message board group? Do we need this? Can we can we make money off of it? All right. There's Jose De La Cruz to fifty. We got Ryan, where's Cito Sanchez going? Going into this monster box here. We've got Ryan Vallad to 299 for the Rockies. So on Patreon, you can create a level of funding and for five bucks a month, you can give, give them a Joe Jaspi one of one drawing and stuff like that. Oh, so I can make gift boxes? So you guys can get a you can guys you guys can get a Jaspi box a month for different dollar amounts. Who would do that, John Samuelson? No one want. You guys already spend too much money on this. No one's gonna pay extra. I was like, if if you guys have extra money to spend, put it into this. Nobody wants Joe Jaspi one of one drawings. Or maybe they do, I don't know. Do I have to give do I have to give the company a cut? Are we I don't know. Are we at that level, John Samuelson, where where people actually want to rep Jaspi swag? Maybe. Yeah, but we make money off of this. Hmm. Maybe I could just do it personally. Not give the company a cut. It's just just Joe swag. And there's Death Rage. Turn turn Death Rage. Raw Death Rage. Death Rage going to Thomas Bove. Death Rage! Brum, 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 brum. Death Rage! It's probably uh, De Atharaj, but that goes to Thomas and the Tigers. Well, Questlove's on there, and he does exclusive blog posts and videos. For who? For just for the people who pay?
All right, Ryan, you're going. You're out. Oh, good night, man. It's Death Rage, man. Eric Bailey. Death Rage fires me up. Death Rage against Machine. That's right, Obi Wan. I could get my Tesla with that. Fund my Tesla. So I would so I would post the Death Rage video and only the people that pay X amount of dollars a month could see it. Huh. I don't know. Alright, alright, that sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Maybe we could leverage that somehow. But I, but, but I don't know if I want exclusive content, John Samson. I, I'm a man of the people. You know, I want I want the content free and open for everybody. The only thing you pay for are these group breaks. That's why we that's why we wouldn't sell swag. We would just give it away to to good paying customers in group breaks. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. That's how it started. Right? I completely forgot about that. The, well, the, the, this conversation started because uh, you were just like, "Hey, that could be your retirement instead of selling Bowman Paper Base." Okay, fair enough. I get it now. So once I once I retire, once I'm ready to retire, I can take all my Bowman Paper Base and put that on Patreon and say, "Hey, here's a video of me." Trying to sell my Bowman baseball paper base. Featuring Death Rage. I appreciate that, John Samson, looking out for my retirement. There's Griffin Canning to 250. I know, right? Did you do two cases of Bowman on eBay today? No. Man. Hobbies or jumbos? Hobbies. Hobbies take too long. Boombox says, well, that's what I was going to say. This probably works best for Instagram models, right? Boombox saying, unless you're an Instagram model offering exclusive nudes and custom videos, Boombox doesn't think that I'm going to make much from Patreon. What, nobody wants to see naked Joe Jaspi? Speak for yourself, Boombox. Out of four ninety nine, there's there's a market out there. Jordan Adams to four ninety nine. How do you know I'm not an Instagram model already? All right, see you guys. Adios. <laughs> Drive safe. What am I, uh, my left finger right here? It's like dead already. Yeah, I know. I feel it. I got to do one more after this. Oh, there it is. Taylor Widener. Refractor autograph. I'm actually making decent time in this break. Boombox, a lot of these chicks have tiers that cost $1,000 per month? You don't think I could do that, Mark? You don't think I could do that? 
check out my handle at Instagram Hottie. Yeah, it would just be life size Lushy McBear nudes on the Instagram. Well, you'd want to, you'd want to see a a cartoon bear that likes to drink martinis. Cartoon bear could be there. We're gonna turn that narrative around, Boombox. We're gonna say, hey, it's just not just not girls on the interwebs that can make money off Patreon. Joe Jaspi. Maybe if I gave out good betting advice, guess what? I want I want everything today. Did I win everything today? Did the Yankees win? I think the Yankees won. What if I just gave out betting days on after the fact? I could be like, look how well I did yesterday. <laughs> Yankees won. Did, did Pittsburgh won? Pirates won. Did the Nationals win? Nationals won. I think Baltimore lost. That's the only game I lost today. Diamondbacks? They won. No, I think the Blue Jays lost. Yeah, they lost. And Angels lost. All right. Huh? Yeah, what about what about if Bubba the Pug was in those videos, Boombox? What do you think about that? Huh? And how much how much would you pay? How much would you pay to see <laughs> see Bubba the pug right there? How much would you see to have him sit, lie down, and roll over? Probably a thousand dollars a month. Next one got two boxes to go. All right, that could be my retirement, John Samuelson. Yeah, people watch me play Pokemon Go. Yeah, people pay thousands of dollars a month for that. Thousands of dollars a month. I think the, the packaging in last year's was, was better. Yeah, if that, if that doesn't work out, then gotta sell that. I gotta sling that Bowman paper base. I'm gonna be slinging that everywhere. Be taking monster boxes of this stuff. Taking it to card shows everywhere. Oh, good. Brian O says I have a good trivia for the next break. Tough but fair. Okay, that's good. I like the sound of that. I'm running out of steam. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I got those flawless briefcases. They they go so fast. Kids grab them from at the store here. 
don't know what they're doing. What they're doing with it. Putting their putting their He-Man and G.I. Joes inside those. I guess I could put the paper base inside the empty flawless briefcase and then be like, take those, take those around. Yeah, I, I, in all seriousness, I, I do want to check out that site. That that does look interesting. Yeah, like a mystery box or something like that. We'll have, to, we'll have to figure that out. I think the first thing we want to do is really just get settled into our new store whenever we get into that at some point this year. Our land, The new landlord just has to give us the okay, and I think we're good. So that could be as early as a couple months or as, or it could not happen. I don't know, but we're hoping it does. We're kind of bumping elbows with each other here in the shop, so I think it'll be good we get into that expanded location, kind of settle, resettle our operations there. And then we can look to some other fun stuff, like getting swag. Selling swag. I got that swag. There's Christian Santana to 499 paper. Christian Santana to Christian Yelich. And there's a speckle sparkle autograph to 299. Dom Thompson Williams, nice. 35 out of 299 for the Yankees. Josh Reich with the Yankees. I did forget John Samuelson. But I will. I have to find out what he what exactly he does first. He told me, but it didn't make sense to me. There's Josh Haterade to 250. There's Daz Cameron Atomic for the Tigres. Quite an intro for a Skip and Shannon, undisputed. There's Daniel Johnson to four ninety nine. Last box coming up. Skip is definitely a tool. No, I don't like. Our TV is not connected, so I don't have very many options. I'm, I'm using my cable television um, app, which allows me access to some channels when I'm away from my home Wi-Fi network on my tablet. So I've got that. So I have limited channels. I don't. I don't even have. They don't even give me ESPN. I got Hallmark. I got the Hallmark channel, folks. If you want to 
listen to background audio of Appetite for Love. I'm not sure what that is. But Skip has been is been pretty it's pretty terrible. I know EA. We got one more autograph to go. Let's see if we can get you something. Cardinals and Cubs. All right. Cardinals Cubs. Good luck, Jeremy. Uh, yes, actually, that third camera has been there all night. Nick was using it when he was helping me pack stats. Just so that so just so that was on camera. Last pack of the last box of Figure Team 3 of 2019 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition, 12 box hobby edition. Thanks for hanging with me, folks. Thanks for keeping me company through this long break. We made it. Jumbo coming up next, which will actually be uh, a wee bit shorter than this break and a little more exciting because there's three autos per box to look for in that eight box jumbo. So twice as many autographs as this one. Three times eight, twenty-four. Right. Yeah. So the, it'll be a little more, a little more engaging. I'm actually glad we did this hobby one first. It's Jared Kalanick in his Seattle gear. Joe, you're into science, yes. I, I enjoy the science. Do you see where some pig brains were partially revived four hours after death? What for? For what purpose was was that? I think you. I think you can do that with 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 brains generally, right? If you fire enough, uh, there's Luis Robert to 25. If you fire enough. Uh, electricity into the brain. You can kickstart some parts of the brain. It's alive! It's alive! Maybe make a Frankenstein. Where's our last auto? There's Victor Victor Mesa. Last auto, where are you? There's Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals to 125. They want to do that pig episode of the Twilight? I don't remember that one. Is the new Twilight doing any good? Nolan Gorman.
And there's your autograph. It's a twin. And it's purple. Purple chrome, 244 out of 250. Ryan Costello. Trevor Smith. I don't think I called your name all night. All break. There it is. Right at the very end, Ryan Costello. Purple chrome autograph out of Pick Your Team 3, 12 box hobby. And there you go, folks. That's your break. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.